Hello friends so we are here with another suggested topic from anatomy today we will help you to draw diagrams regarding cranial cavity so draw now will shape to represent the skull then you see two lines divide it into three portions you know that the floor of the cranial cavity is divided into anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa so now let's learn the contents in middle cranial fossa so here is your optic canal or optic foramen then this one is superior orbital fissure then this is the foramen rotundum foramen ovale and here is the foramen spinosum and this one foramen lacerum each foramina of the middle cranial fossa has a partner which is found exactly on the opposite side of the skull also so these are the foramens we discussed foramen rotundum foramen ovale foramen spinosum and finally foramen lacerum If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and also follow us on Instagram. Now, coming to the structures passing through the various canals and foramens in the middle cranial fossa, let's see the structures related to superior orbital fissure and optic canal. Now, there is a ring of fibrous tissue surrounding optic nerve, and also it divides the superior orbital fissure. This ring is called common tendinous ring of Zinn. So this is your superior orbital fissure and here is the common tendinous ring and this one is your optic foramen or optic canal. So the common tendinous ring divides the superior orbital fissure into three parts. The portion present above the common tendinous ring is the lateral part, the portion within the ring is the middle part and the portion below the ring is the medial part. Now let's see the structures present within the optic foramen. Optic canal transmits two structures into the orbit, ophthalmic artery and the other one is optic nerve optic nerve is the second cranial nerve now coming to superior orbital fissure let's see the structures present in the lateral part there are two arteries and three nerves one artery is the recurrent meningeal branch of lacrimal artery and the other artery is lacrimal artery the nerves are lacrimal nerve frontal nerve and the third nerve is trochlear nerve in the middle part there are five nerves one here two three four and five the first nerve is the abducens nerve it is the sixth cranial nerve and the second nerve is the superior division of oculomotor nerve the third one is the nasociliary nerve and the fourth nerve is sympathetic root of ciliary ganglion the fifth nerve is the inferior division of oculomotor nerve so there are superior and inferior division for a glomotor nerve now in the medial part there is only one vein and that is inferior ophthalmic vein so totally there are four cranial nerves here that is the third fourth fifth and sixth cranial nerves the third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve its superior and inferior divisions are present here the fourth cranial nerve is the trochlear nerve and the fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve one of its branch is ophthalmic nerve and ophthalmic nerve again divides into frontal nerve nasociliary nerve and lacrimal nerve so these are here in the diagram and finally the sixth cranial nerve is the abducens nerve so next one is foramen lacerum suppose this is the bone as in your pterygoid process of sphenoid and this is the bony part and here is the petrous temporal bone so here is the sphenoid bone and this is your pterygoid canal and this middle portion this is the foramen lacerum this portion is the carotid canal so which structure passes through it it is your internal carotid artery and here is your nerve to pterygoid canal it has two branches one upper branch and other one forms the sympathetic plexus around internal carotid artery The upper branch is the greater petrosal nerve and the other is deep petrosal nerve. So this will be your internal carotid artery with sympathetic plexus around it. Now suppose here is the cavernous sinus and here is your emissary vein, one of the structure that passes through the foramen lacerum. And this one is the pharyngeal venous plexus. The emissary vein connects cavernous sinus to pharyngeal venous plexus. Another artery through this foramen is the meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery and this is the artery now here is a mnemonic to remember the structure in foramen lacerum meggy 
M for meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery, E for emissary vein, G for greater petrosal nerve, and last I for internal carotid artery. So thank you.